going for my queen You won't wait me till Jesus come Why when I talk Pocket full flows Money, honey Forget about Susan So since we don't have all the equipment Like you know cameras and all this stuff So just use one of the uh, webcam from my, my, my computer so we're gonna start with these tools and give people knowledge because that's how they say, you know, start with what you have, what you have. and then from there you're gonna add a battery, you know, you're gonna add a battery and things gonna propagate it and you know, excuse me, and things gonna pull slowly, you know, because you can't reach down top before it's on the bottom, otherwise then you're gonna break and start from bottom of phrase. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna start with the tool that I have, you know, this week, go to Vada's community, so before it's on top player. <laughs> Yes, we're live again on television, comment, brother and sister. So, uh, we have a question right there. So, first and foremost, before we start doing this question, let me show something which is very, very important. Very, very important. Uh, tricky uh, integral of uh, index of trigonometry. For example, if somebody give you, before we start that question, if somebody give you, uh, let's see, um, d of x, and they give you here a square root, a square, a could be any number, and here let's say g of x, square dx. Excuse me. So I have only one dx, not two dx. Dx. So this one, if you have in this format, this let me say one over a. Memorize this part, right? And then if it's a square minus, so a can be a number like nine minus, let's say a x square, something like this. You see what I'm saying? So this let me say one over a. You only take this number one over this number, and they say x sign. And then you say, take this g of x over number which is here with no square. And the plus constant. So you memorize the part, right? So let's take an example. For example, somebody give you uh, something like uh, like this one here. Uh, square root. Or let's see, uh, 4. And they give you uh, 9 minus uh, 36 x square. And they give square root. G, this is the same format as that because you have a a square. So what is a? A could be three square, and this thirty six square means six x, and you have a square. So now I'm gonna rearrange this, but at this four I don't need it because it has to only has to be dx. So let's say you have a dx. Excuse me. So this four is a constant. So take outside. So it's gonna be four, and I'm gonna have my integral one over. So and then I have my square. Remember it has to be a minus means number square. Otherwise. No, this rule is not going to work if it's other way around. So this 9 meaning 3 square because it's a square means I have to break it a square. And the minus 36 means 6. 36 means 6. And then x means what? x. But I and then put all of them in square because it has to be g of x square. And I have a d, dx. So this I may say, and remember we have a 4. 4 is just a constant number, it has nothing to do with the equation. So I'm going to say 4, just say 4. And then now we have to follow the rule. How say? 1 over a so 1 over what is a a a this number with no square which is 3 and then we're going to say what x sign x sign and x sign sometimes meaning uh the other meaning is sign inverse and then what we always say g of x what is g of x g of x is something with no square so meaning what this one 36 x no excuse me 6 x so 6 x over over a what is my a a3 so here i'm going to say Three bracket plus my constant. So I'm gonna multiply this four. Ah, so it's gonna say okay. So four times gonna be four over three. And then x sign. Sometimes you can say sign inverse. Ax sign and sign inverse is the same thing. So when you see in the book, don't get confused. Say, oh I don't know what is x sign. Six divided by three equal to two. And then we have our x and then plus c. So that's how you find the sign in this, right? Now we come back to the equation. Don't worry about it, right? I want to show you and tell you that. Okay, well sometimes they're going to give a trick a little bit. They're not going to give it easy like that. So I'm saying, so I hope you understand. So I'm going to raise this part here. So they're going to give something like this, for example. Excuse me. Okay, let's say they give you everything the same, but uh, it's a trick a little bit. Now they're going to give you inner growth, and then they give you 1 over, let's see, a 5 minus mm, 49x squared, and then you have a root. 
ETFs. So when you look careful, this is the same as that. But the only problem, this 49, 49 is going to be 7 square. X square is fine, but the problem is here. So I'm going to make this as a square because it has to be in that format. So look here, brother and sister. If you have a 5, because 5 it has to be square. If you take a number and then square root and then square, what does that mean? means it's going to be the same number because this and this is going to go it's going to be 5 so why I want to do that because I want to write this number as a square and we don't have a square of 5 so I have to think outside the box like how I'm going to make this number square or if somebody give it let's see um, 7 so if you want to write numbers as a square because we don't have a square or in some number when you multiply by itself we get 7 so I'm going to say I'm going to have to square root and out square you see this number right in the square and it did not change any meaning because now when you square to seven times when you square equal to seven so I'm gonna play the same game because you don't have a number which like here you see uh, the previous double like this is four this is three this is two square this is nine square so here we didn't have that so that's why I have to introduce that concept so I'm gonna say this is the same as integral excuse me no, let me write next to it so this same say uh, this same say integral and then I'm gonna say one over and this is gonna be we have a big root and then this five meaning square root of five and then square the minus for a nine meaning seven and x square mean what x and then we have what do we have square then we have it to the x but uh, why am I doing that? The reason why I'm doing that because I want this to be looking at exactly in that format. You see what I'm saying? So, Hamish, how do you know that? You know, make sure you can refer all these one. You see this rule here? It's in a trigonometric table. This part here is in a trigonometric table. So, you can always go back to your table and check. But you can memorize here straight away. See, because sometimes they don't give you table. So, it's always important to memorize, especially for sign, for tunnels. So, you have to make sure you memorize. So, for that case, now I can continue here. So, now this one, now I'm finished. I'm going to say, okay, so according to the rule, is already in that format so that means this equal 1 over a so 1 over what is that a a this number with no square so what is that number it's going to 5 for this case and then we say what arc sign arc sign of this one with no square so it's going to be 7 x over a what is that a a is a square root excuse me it's going to 5 and then plus c so this is our uh, answer for this case. So I hope you understand that part, right? So now let's go back to the question. So this question is similar to this, but I ask you in trick way. So let's see how we can break it down. I'm gonna raise here, so I'm gonna raise everything. So first and foremost, uh, the other problem in my normal integration, uh, you see, in my normal integration, uh, like in a form, I say integral, and then you have a one over a square minus f of x. See, square, and then you have a root dx. See, there's no x outside. So here, here, there's a problem here, because we have an x outside. So I'm gonna have to uh, do some naughty stuff. So what I'm gonna do, look how I'm gonna come out of this situation because in the formula, see, excuse me, let me just do this. See the formula there? In the formula, we don't have x, so here there's an x. So look how what I'm gonna do now. So here I'm gonna have a tricky substitution inverse and also uh tricky inverse and also I'm gonna use a tricky substitution both. So I'm gonna start by saying this number here, let me take out four. So I'm going to say I have an integral, and then I'm going to say a dx, and then uh, I have x here, and then this 4, I'm going to take outside, it's in here, but I'll take, put a bracket, take out, it's going to be 1 minus, if I take 4 for both, I means this is going to be 9 over 4, and then it's going to be log of x, and then square dx. Look, if you multiply by 4, it's going to be 4, if you multiply by 4 here, it's going to be 4. It's going to be 4 times 9 over 4 this and this cancel which is going to be the same thing do you understand what I'm saying so if I take 4 here it's going to be 1 if I take 4 for the second one it's going to be over 4 for the people who kind of get confused let me just do slow so if somebody give you m plus a okay let's say this is 2 
if I take two for both, there's no two here. But if I force to take two here, this is going to be m. But since there's no two here, you must divide. Or in other way, whenever you factorize two, means it's like you divide each number by that number which you factorize. So if I take out two, means like this divided by two is going to give me m, and this divided by two is going to be a over two. Same here. If I take out four for both this one, this one, this means when you divide by four, you're going to get one. Divided second group by four is going to get four. Okay, now let's go. See. Now I'm going to say, uh, we know whenever you have a square root of, so let's say, of 4, y squared, I could separate square root, and then it's going to be square root of 4, some square root of y squared. This is going to be 2, and when you square root of y, it's going to be what? It's going to be y, y squared. If somebody gives me, say, 9, and then x square root, I could separate the square root, 9, and this is going to be square root of x. This is going to be 3, and square root of x. So we're going to do the same game here. So what we're going to do here, excuse me, so what we're going to do here, we're going to say uh, now. So I'm going to separate the square root. I mean square root for the first number because here there's a multiplication. I mean square root of 4 and square root for the whole this bracket. It's like, so square root, like because they have a single square root, but we have a 4 and this one. So for the 4, it's going to give me 2. So it's like 4 into here. And I have 1 minus 9 over 4, not of x squared. So this has, I'm going to separate the square root for the first number and square root for the second group. And this is going to give me 2, and then we're going to have a 1 minus 9 over 4 log of x squared. See, so this part here is going to be integral dx, and you're going to have a x. Okay, now when you square root, this is going to give you 2, just like I'll show here. So we're going to have a 2 here, excuse me. Because when you square root the 4, you, because there's a group and group, when you square root 4, you get 2. But remember, I still have my x here. And then this other one, we cannot square root, we leave the way how it is. 1 minus. 9 over 4 and then log of x squared. So now look here, man. This is, uh, if you look careful, this, like this part here, excuse me. It's like this. It's like this, my polish. A, 9 over 4. But we have to write this is a square and the second group is a square. So I'm going to say in a group and then I'm going to say my gx. Okay. 2 it might go out. Let me take 2 out. 1 over 2. Excuse me, no, no, no problem, so cannot feel it. So I'm gonna say, let me write next to you. So I'm gonna read this part because we don't need it. So let me just read it. Okay. Uh, now nah, it's fine. Let me continue down here. So I'm gonna say, I'll take this two out. So this two is gonna be one over two out, out, out outside of the integral. And then I have my dx. And here we still have x and then square root. One I wanna write is that. So it's gonna be one square minus. 9 is 3 over 4 is 2. I want to put it in square. And this is going to be ln of x. Both of them, they in square. So you see, this is sign inverse. How do I know? Because you have a square root. And I have 1 minus 3 over 2. You see, the second group is uh, square. And the first group is square. So what I'm going to let, because it's already in that format. So I'm going to let everything here, excuse me. Everything's in here. Everything there equal to side. Side. So I'm gonna say let. So I'm gonna write here next. So I'm gonna let let. You see this part here? Let all of this because this is sine inverse. Do you agree with me? Yes, this is sine inverse because this is arc sine. 1 over a arc sine. Just like how we did before. So I'm going to let this part, this part here, this part equal to sine. So I'll say let, uh, let these 3 over 2, 3 over 2 ln of x equal to sine of theta. And then when you do that, you differentiate both sides. But before I differentiate, I would rather get rid of the 3 over 2. 3 over 2, go the other side. So here we're going to be left with a lot of x equal to this 2 is going to come here. Over this 3 is going to come to the bottom. Sign of theta. In the next half, I'm going to differentiate both sides. When you differentiate ln, you get 1 over x. This When you differentiate ln, like for example, somebody give a ln of f of x. This same is say, uh, differentiate whatever you have here 
you're gonna get F derivative value over exactly what you have here. That's how you differentiate the loan. Like when you differentiate the loan. So for this case, when you differentiate the left hand side, means I'm gonna differentiate whatever I have here. When you differentiate x, you're gonna get one over in the right exactly what I have. That's why they always say when you differentiate loan, you get one over x. That's how you get it. And I'll say equal to when you differentiate the right hand side, this is a constant. So two over three. When you differentiate sign, you always get cos. You can get this in a tricky table. When you, just, you can, but you have to memorize this part. When you differentiate sign, you get cos. But I just refer to your tricky norm, to your differentiation table, differential table, differentiation table. So what did you differentiate on the left? On the left, I differentiate x. So you must say what d x. On the right, I differentiate it what thetas. So it must be d theta. It's not x here. Excuse me. So. 2 over 3 and then you differentiate sine you get cos theta and then d d theta so what we're going to do now the question is finished man so why is finished look dx over x is this one dx over x right and this half here 3 over 2 ln of x 3 over 2 ln x equal to sine x so i'm going to substitute it back and now we go so we have a 1 over 2 then it follow 1 over 2 and they have an integral, and then we have a dx over x, dx over x equal to 2 over 3 cos of theta, d theta, which is this one, and then we over, we over 1 minus 3, this is like 1 square, this is like 1 square, minus 3 over 2 ln of x, 3 over 2 ln of x equal to sine of x, sine of x, but what? Square. So square. So brother and sister, look. From the tricky identity, we always know not. This is something that you should know from long or long ago. If somebody gives you sine square of angle plus cos square of angle, always equal to one. Sine square of angle plus cos square equal to one. Means sine square of angle plus cos square angle equal to one. So meaning, if I want to get sine square of angle, this is gonna go over. So sine square of angle equal to 1 minus cos of angle. If you want to get cos of angle, cos of angle equal to 1 minus sine of square of angle. You see what I'm saying? So if somebody tell me 1 minus, means you take 1 minus uh, sine of angle, 1 minus sine of angle, means it's going to give me cos square of angle. If you take 1 minus cos of angle, it's going to give you sine of angle. So 1 minus sine of angle equal to cos of angle. And another thing, these two and two cancel. So we haven't sat yet different uh, integrate class. So say integral. So only here we're going to be left with 3, which is going to go out. Okay. Now we have a cos on top, theta, b theta, and then over 1 minus sine square of angle. 1 minus sine square of angle equal to cos square of angle. And then what happened now when you square the cos of angle? So we have a 1 over 3, and then have a cos theta cos of angle means this and this cancel so we left with excuse me <laughs> yeah this and this root cancel so we only have a cos square cos of angle sorry my problem cos of angle and they have a uh, integral d theta now the question is finished brother and sister so after that so now this and this go so that one you want to go, so you have a 1 over 3, so now we have a 1 over 3, and then you have a integral of d theta. So this meaning 1 over 3, when you integrate d theta, you get theta, and then you remember plus our constant, and that's the end of the equation. But uh, we're not finalized yet, okay? Not. Just for some people don't know here, if somebody give you, excuse me, let me write here a little note. Integral of dx always equal to x. Integral of d mtwana equal to mtwana. Integral of d, whatever you have that letter, you get that letter. This is a little note. It's not part of the equation, right? It's not part of the equation. It's a little note. Here. So now we're going to say, <coughs> so this is our final answer. But the problem is, you know, given the question, they didn't give us some theta, so we need to. Take it back and get the value of theta. How are we going to get the value of theta? Excuse me.
So I'm going to use this part here and make theta subject. So if I want to make theta subject, means I'm going to take three, go here, means, excuse me, this one, I should use this. Okay? So if I want to make theta subject, means I'll just invest this sign. I'll say this sign is going to come here, but it's going to be invest, so it's going to be sign invest of 3 over 2, 3 over 2, sign 3 over 2, and then 3 over 2, sign 3 over 2, and then this side here is going to be uh, because you invest 3 over 2 and then you have a lot of x and this equal to theta because you take this on other side. This side is going to come this side. So this, the bottom photo, theta. So we're going to take this value here and put it in here. And that's going to be our final answer. So finally, we finalize by saying everything they give us equal to 1 over 1 over 3. The value of theta now we have equal to sine inverse sine inverse 3 over 2 3 over 2 ln of x ln of x and then plus c so brother and sister that's it how we solve this question if you have an equation or if it's face on my channel make sure you click the like button subscribe and share peace and love man peace so another time again uh, this is uh let me just show everybody so that everybody can see clear this is Twana Wabantu Academy. I'm saying, and the aim or the purpose of solving this problem is everyone should actually free classic quality education for all. Oh, you know the aim.